All right, here is yet another Ubuntu that's released. <sighs> and this one's got KDE. This is Kabuntu 1310 right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. And the moral of this story, kids, is never let Spatry sit up all night building Gen 2 and then doing three distro reviews today, wired on coffee. <laughs> all right, here it is. This is Kaboom 2. And, uh, yeah, it looks like any other KDE desktop. But guess what, kids? This is running the latest and greatest 4.11. Now... Before I get into any details on this distribution, let me uh, first open up a terminal. And this uses Conqueror, or console, excuse me. <laughs> and I'm going to run a command called top, T-O-P. Now, I just booted this up and uh, haven't run any software at all. But it looks like at its base it is using 864 megs. Wow, nice little chunk. So make sure you've got a few gigs of RAM installed on your system for this. Uh, yeah, install this on that old 386 you have up in the attic and let me know how well it runs. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, here is what's new in Kubuntu 1310. Uh, basically, this has a KDE uh, 4.11, which includes changes such as the taskbar has been ported to Qt Quick. And while it looks the same as before, it should be more consistent and fluid in behavior. Battery widget now supports keyboard brightness and can deal with multiple batteries and peripheral devices like wireless mice and keyboards. Nepomuk received massive performance improvements. One, Discoverer. Uh, the application was introduced with Kubuntu 1304, but wasn't installed by default. A one sweet front end that makes it easier to find and install new software and is installed by default uh, in, Kubu in Kubuntu. Yeah, so the Mwan Software Center. A new simple way to manage uh, system users has been added. User Manager uh, Kubuntu Installer. KDE Telepathy received better text editing and improved notifications, simpler UI for a network manager applet. Oh, gosh, they have a lot of changes here. Kubuntu documentation is once again available either through uh, the help application or by visiting docs.kubuntu.org. Okay, cool. All right, let's see what you get with this. All right. You guys have all seen my reviews on KDE Desktop, so I'm not going to break this all apart in a million little pieces for you here. Basically, standard taskbar, uh, standard uh, little section here for adding widgets, blah, blah, blah. And then you have this little empty folder for putting your favorite icons and that sort of thing. Personally, for, it was me. I don't like anything on my desktop. I don't. I don't. I don't. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Now, um, you know, and I always hate this menu. If there's anything that turns my blood black, it's this KDE menu. But we can fix that right now. I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to switch to classic menu style. Oh, bliss. All right. Now, you get K Patience card game. Wow. All right. And graphics, you get Gwenview. Uh, Camoso. By the way, I want to mention that a lot of the applications that ship with KE, KDE are some of the best of the best. Uh, hands down, uh, they've got excellent software. Um, so that's one advantage for running KDE, but you don't necessarily have to have KDE installed on your system to use some of the applications. But this is well worth your time just to look at some of the stuff that this comes with. You got uh, Akrita for digital painting. Case snapshot. LibreOffice comes with this Ocular, which is a document viewer, and then, of course, uh, an image scanning application as well. Internet, you get um, a feed reader, you get Blue Devil, uh, you can manage your uh, contacts, 
uh, internet dial-up tools, uh, Mozilla, Firefox, uh, KTorrent. For all of your BitTorrent needs, great for those of you distro hoppers out there that are downloading torrents and all that other fun stuff. Uh, you get a uh, Quasal IRC client. Never tried that one. I'll have to check that out one day. And then you get Recon Q web browser. In multimedia, you get Amarok, Dragon Player for video. Pretty neat application. I haven't used that in a long time. You get K3B, the flagship disk burning software. If you want to uh, do some really cool things with disks, and guess what? You can put add-ons in this. It'll rip your DVDs and CDs and do all kinds of stuff. This is the most comprehensive uh, disk burning utility out there. So uh, even if you're not running uh, KDE, you should download this and check it out. But make sure that you download the optional dependencies uh, for it to get all of the functions that this has. And then, of course, you have KMix, which is their sound mixer. As I mentioned, you get the LibreOffice suite with this, along with KMail and uh, K Address Book and Kmart if you like shopping, too. I'm just kidding. All right. And in settings, uh, input method, system settings, and everything is right here. Uh, this also, you'll notice, you'll notice there's a little bit of a glow around this window here. That's KWIN running. You want to know more about KWIN? Search my channel. I have videos on it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Uh, some utilities. ARC, which is their archiving tool. Kate, uh, KCALC, Clipper, uh, KMAG, KML, KMAUS, KDOTS. Yeah, okay. And then, of course, there's that help we talked about earlier in the beginning of the show. And, uh, but yeah, this looks like a standard, uh, except, uh, the standard KDE desktop to me. Um, and it appears to be faster in response than other KDE desktops that I've looked at in a virtual machine in the past. So, and that's the thing about, uh, KDE. They just keep improving and improving and improving with every release. They're just getting better and better and better. So, uh, that's always refreshing to see because I use some components of KDE in my uh, Linux desktop. So all in all, nice job, Kubuntu team. Uh, don't worry, this doesn't have any uh, spyware, Amazon scopes, and you know, it's not going to report to Facebook unless you want to report to Facebook on your um, web browser and that sort of thing. And while you're busy, uh, while you're busy doing Facebook, why don't you uh, send the NSA my love? I'm out. Mm -hmm.